Yo, what is up guys? So in today's video, I will be changing the engine mounts on the A4B9 model over here. So I will show you the car. As you can see, this is the original OEM engine mounts over here. They tend to fail on those models. And how you can see that is actually by searching for the engine mount. And you can see that it's already leaking over there. There are some oil marks on the passenger side and I believe this one is fine but I will change both of them anyway and the car has about 56,000 miles or 100,000 kilometers right now on the clock. So the first step is to remove the under trace over here and the second step is to jack the car up in the front at least and take out the wheels, take out the wheel arches I believe and I will show you that just in a second okay so this took me a while but I finally got it up in the air and the wheels detached so the instruction manual calls now for disconnecting this part from the coolant reservoir and this connector over here which you use a flathead screwdriver to pull this metal clip in the engine direction and then take it to the driver's side so let me just do that okay so i got the coolant line off i had to open this because there was some vacuum over here and this one came off but it's off right now and let's go to the wheel arches right now okay so right now what i will have to do over here is remove this axle guard plastic type of thing over here with a 10 millimeter a socket and the whole um, trim over here for the wheel as well as this lower uh, trim part over here and believe this will be 25 uh, torques over here as well so let's see how this goes on the other side one 10 millimeter is through over here second one over here on the right side and if you take those out this is the axle guard and uh, what I did was just pulling it a little bit and sliding it downwards and then just maneuver it out of there somehow like that and then again take the 10 millimeter over here two more on the upper side and two more over here and then like 10 uh, of the 25 torques as screws located in various places so just to see for yourself and I see the underliner of the wheel is broken on both sides on my car so I'll have to order this part new the part is not so big so I think it won't be expensive and I believe this has something to do with my splitter being broken so I believe when this happens um, the underliner just got destroyed over here as you can see okay so after all of those steps done we finally have some more space over here to work with where is that motor mount over here one and as you can see there's much more space right now on both sides we can actually see them in the in this mess of all those cables and pipes and everything the supporting uh, frames and everything so before i go further now i will just go and disconnect the battery uh, of my car because i don't want to fry anything when i will do so so let me just go ahead over here and disconnect my negative terminal from the battery okay so i got my negative battery terminal and done over here let me take it up and put some rag under it so it doesn't connect to anything on the car and we can work safely over here nice 
Okay, so next step on the passenger side is to undo uh, this uh, thing of here on the turbo uh, to get this uh, pipe loose over here and get more access for the engine mount. Okay, so I got it undone. This is how it looks like over here. Let's see if there's a lot of oil. Not really. Okay, I will secure this somehow and proceed. This is how it got secured over here so nothing falls in. And the next step will be cutting off those uh, zip ties over here uh, to make the place for this engine mount to get out this way. Okay, the cable ties are undone over here. And now I will go ahead and undo this um, negative terminal uh, or whatever ground uh, cable over here is in the way. Next part is to remove this bolt over here from the engine support bearing, whatever that is. And let's do that. Okay, so the next step was disconnecting this plug for the engine mount. Well, everything should be ready out here. And then you go to the uh, gearbox mount over here. And as you can see, let me double check those three that's all here I just took out and now will be the big boy I guess the biggest screw which is the actual one holding the engine to the mount and I will undo this right now okay I got this M14 triple square undone over there and now it's the hard part which is supporting the whole engine with this type of thing but the whole problem with this car is it has one plastic oil pan over here second plastic oil pan over here so I need to think about something to put uh, right here and push the engine up a little bit before I can continue and go ahead dismounting this thing over here the engine mount and I believe now as I took out this bolt the long one the M14 triple square this end, the engine just sits over here on this little rubber and now I will support it, put it upwards a little bit so that I can access the other bolts and the engine doesn't fall when I take this out. The engine is supported right now, just like that. As you can see, I use the rubber thingy from this thing over here. This is how it looks like and as you can see by this cap, the engine is already lifted up. So I will proceed to remove the rest of the bolts from the engine mount. Okay, so I could not get the access to this bolt over here at the bottom of the engine mount. So what I did, I removed this part and guess what? It's damaged over here quite badly. So, if you replace your engine mounts, you can consider this one as well. I guess many launch controls did this job over here. First engine mount is out, and as you can see, look at the difference in the height over here compared to a new one. New one is touching over here, and this one is like sinking down. And this is how the place over here looks like. That. Okay, so long story short, I got one side done over here, as you can see the new one is sitting in there. I will link you guys a PDF file with all the newtonometers over there you need uh, to uh, screw it in with. And now let's get this one. So, pretty straightforward again, let me disconnect this, whichever sensor this is. Uh, I will take out the sensor itself for the engine mount and try to wiggle it out i believe i saw maybe we will need to disconnect this pipe over here and i believe this one goes to the engine manifold if i'm not mistaken and it should get out this side was pretty easy i should say with everything disconnected over here like i did it was pretty easy to get it out and put it back in over there 
So wish me luck on this side. I got the driver's side engine man out and what it turns out on the first glance I thought I have a wrong one or a wrong engine because as you can see they are quite different. This is the new one. This is the one I took out and look at this side. It's really different over here as you can see where the screw goes in. It's really weird but from all what I searched about it with the number of this part this should fit my car. So I guess they changed the design, they changed the manufacturer or I don't know. Something different over here. I will try to mount it and see if it fits and update you. Okay so both engine mounts are in place, torqued down properly. The other engine mount actually uh, was the good one for this car. So I believe this is the this is a new engine mount, but the older model over here, and the newer model it looks like that. That's the older one. Let me know, guys, in the comments if you know about the codes of those uh, engine mounts, which is newer, or what is the difference between them. I will look myself as well. And I will show you real quick the engine codes I got, or the, sorry, the part codes I got on my packages. As you can see, these are Genio uh, VW parts. This is the one of the engine mounts and the second one. So stop the video if you want to make a screenshot over here. So guys, I'm about two weeks after changing the engine mounts. And what I didn't mention in the video, both of the engine mounts were leaking oil at, at my mileage of the car, which is about 60,000 miles right now, I think. Uh, overall, the car drives really good um, after the, the engine mount change. Especially the downshifts are much better, much smoother. There is no kick um, of the car when it downshifts. Um, overall this job isn't so complicated as I was thinking in the first place. It's very easy if you have the right tools, um, if you have a car lift especially, it's very easy to do that yourself um, and the engine engine hoist, engine mount or, or gearbox holder or whatever um, to just secure the engine. Uh, just take um, a lot of caution when you are torquing down the bolts. Um, when you are torquing down the actual uh, engine mount, it has three bolts on the bottom and one bolt, uh, one bolt that uh, goes to the engine. And this bolt has 70 Nm of torque or 90, I don't remember now correctly, 90 Nm of torque and then 90 degrees. Uh, so make sure you um, attach the first three bolts on the base of the engine mount first make sure you have um, the right clearance um, to um, uh, to secure the, the biggest bolt. Because if you don't have the right clearance to secure the biggest bolt, you might strip the thread. What I mean by that, with the thing that you're using to hold your engine, uh, make sure you see uh, the hole for the bolt um, clearly so that you can screw it in with your hands and then uh, torque it down properly so that you don't um, do, don't screw it in sideways, if that makes sense. Uh, overall, very nice uh, job to do, I think, if you have the, the equipment. So it's not that uh, bad as well. I will do a um, gearbox video as well, very shortly, with the filter change, with everything that you need to change in the gearbox over here. If you have any special questions to me, about, I don't know, this car in particular, about the 2-liter TFSI engine, any job you're looking to do, or ask me any questions about maintenance and so on, please go ahead, ask those questions. I'm very happy to answer them as I uh, drive this car for almost like five years or something like that. And yeah, I know quite a lot about it. I look on the forums, what to change and so on. Uh, we can talk about things like, for example, the uh, water pump issue or something like that. So this is it uh, for this uh, particular video. I will link the PDF file uh, for you uh, so that you have a guide. And the PDF file is actually from ECS Tuning because they have 
um, stronger engine mounts without the oil so they are not failing if you're looking for them of course they uh, will have a drawback of um, uh, of um, less comfort in the car okay because they are like racing engine mounts some sort of that you can check on the website and yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope you will subscribe to my channel see ya